Hi there, good morning. Day three of the challenge. How are you doing so far? Are you staying on with the program or are you slacking off already? I'm uh, doing good this morning. It's kind of cold out here. I don't know if you can see my breath or not, but it's a little bit chilly. The weather has gone back down to more, more winter-like than spring-like conditions. But I just want to take a quick minute to here to talk with you. A little bit of a follow-up from yesterday. I went through a little bit of like a quiet time, sort of a meditation beginning practice. Uh, I'm not very well versed on, you know, how do you actually meditate or not, but I do, again, believe in find that quiet time to to kind of just be alone with your thoughts and just, you know, maybe it's for spiritual prayer or just meditation about things you're thinking about in your life and just some time just to, to be quiet and just to be down a little bit. So uh, that's just with a very short thing. You know, I think you probably want to go for like five or ten minutes of that time if you can. And uh, something that I'm going to try to find somebody who is a little bit more of an expert on that to talk about it a little bit more. But today I want to talk about what do you say to yourself or kind of the idea of affirmations and what is sort of your internal talk and internal dialogue to yourself as you may be uh, thinking about your day and you know, what kind of thoughts are running through your mind? And there's so much negative news and information out there today. And there's been lots of studies done on this about how much of the news is just about death or killing or stealing or robbing and wars and things that are so negative in the world that we don't really get a lot of positive mental images that are put in place into our mind about most of the things that we see outside of us. You know, newspapers and magazines, they're gossiping, talking about who's sleeping with who and you know, who's in rehab and all the kind of stuff going on. So a lot of times, you know, most of the things that you have coming into your thought processes are just negative things. And how do you become more positive? And I've uh, had an experience with a couple of different programs that have taught me some positive affirmations. And uh, two people in particu particular. One is, a guy, one is a guy by the name of Tony Lister, who has a great program, a 21-day program called Water Weed Repeat. And uh, that's sort of some of the ideas that I'm basing this off of, uh, although this kind of, again, it's a hodgepodge of different ideas I put together. Uh, another one is about a woman named Karen Joyce, who uh, has done, done a great program around the science of getting rich and the science of being great as well. So I've got a lot of affirmations from those things. And what I'm going to do is going to post up uh, these things on the, on the blog. But, uh, you know, it's just kind of some really great things to kind of say to yourself, things that you can hear. Uh, every day, just kind of as you are having some quiet time, maybe if you're taking a walk, you can uh, put on an iPod and listen to some positive affirmations. Maybe it's just, you know, nice sounds like, you know, birds chirping or just water babbling by the brook or ocean waves and things of that nature as well. Just something that's going to be soothing and peaceful and something that just will not just, you know, give your mind filled with all the negative things that are going on. So, so here's the challenge, is, extra part of this challenge is to not watch any news. Uh, for the next uh, part of this challenge for the next 26 days. See if you can go without watching any news and see how you feel about that. See how does it change. I mean, there's not going to be anything that's really that pressing. I'm sure you'll hear about something if it's really, you know, if there's a tsunami again or some kind of earthquake, you know, you're going to hear about that for people who you meet and who you see on your everyday basis at work or whatever. But uh, just see if you can go without watching the news. Or at least we're not watching the news part of the news. Maybe you can watch this weather and those kind of things if you need to watch the weather. But just see if you can do that and uh, see how that goes for you. So I'd be very curious to get your feedback on that and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Keep up with the challenge and looking forward to a good Friday and a weekend coming up here and hopefully have a couple of fun things to throw at you for the next couple of days. So talk to you soon and uh, have a good day. Bye.